You know, I've grown up all over this, this country. I've lived in um, the roughest parts of Illinois, in Chicago. I went to grad school in New York, and I had an area in Washington, D.C. where I practiced that was some of the rougher areas in Washington, D.C. And I've oftentimes looked at the breakdown of society in some of these inner city areas, and I, I look and I think the reason why we have the struggles we have is because of the lack of fathers that are around. I think that the organization, the, the Youth World Education Project, that all the things that they're doing, things of after school programs, the things that, the gala that we're, we're, we're attending, um, all the different things that they do to be able to help people in all sorts of different situations in life. Young men, young women, to be able to make them better, to be able to help families, it's one of the most admirable things I've ever seen in my life. Um, to be able to affect change, to be able to help people grow, understand, you know, to be able to give them accountability for grades and reward them for those things and have someone outside their family that actually cares about. It's incredible. And I really think that whether you are a Christian or, or someone of faith, I think it's even bigger than that. I think that, that what they do is divine to be able to do what Christ would do if he was here, to be able to touch those that need to be touched, to be able to help where need to be helped, lift up to help people grow and to be better than they are. I think that there's a certain reach that can be done and I see the, the YWAP go about it in a way that isn't really done through government or through schools, but there's, they, do, they do it through what they believe is most effective, how they can most effect, effective change the way things are done in the past to effectively change the future of these young people. It's admirable, and, you know, honestly, God bless them, because they really do an incredible work.